Hi, thanks for stopping by to watch us turn a pen from the Zebra resin. Uh, this particular resin is not difficult to turn, but there have been some questions about how you can uh, successfully get a pen from a square or rectangular piece. One of the things I want you to listen for early in the tape is the sound that it makes as you start to turn this material. That will tell you a lot as to whether you're chipping out or how you're getting You can now hear the chipping as I'm turning this. Even though I'm getting the uh, ribbons to come off, you can hear that it's actually hitting each of the corners and it would like to shatter if I were going deeper than I am currently going. When I start this material, I go into both of the two ends first. I've stopped the lathe so you can see the actual blank and see that there are no pits in the material, that it's actually been turned relatively smoothly, and all that has been done while there are still corners and edges and all the things that typically break off when you're trying to do a resin blank. Now let's continue and again listen for the chipping noises and yet because I am staying far enough away from it I'm not trying to take deep cuts. I'm not having problems with it pitting. I've been turning this blank now for just under three minutes and at this point you can see that there's enough off of the blank that it's a good idea to move your tool rest closer to the blank, move it in toward the blank. I am taking this picture from above the, um, the lathe so if you're kind of lost your orientation the top is where I would be standing the bottom is the away side of the lathe and to what is your right is actually where the headstock would be. Once again I've stopped the lathe so you can see the blank has not got pits, it's not uh, been damaged and uh, essentially it's just a nice smooth turn. Now I'm going to skip a substantial amount uh, shortly. You'll see that there's an edit. Uh, the real time was 10 minutes from start to finish of this blank, uh, but you don't want to watch all that turning, I don't think. A few comments here that may help. Uh, we started this um, turning with a skew that is about an inch and an eighth 
uh, in uh, in width, and it's an oval skew. It's my preference for oval skews. I don't really have a preference as to the angle of the cut. Um, as long as you have a good sharp skew, I don't think the angle that it's cut at makes an awful lot of difference. You're trying to use the end, the point of the skew, the uh, sharp part of the skew, to uh, to cut off material here, to shave off material as you're turning. If you put most of the pressure toward the headstock or toward the tailstock, one of the difficulties that many turners run into is that they're actually pushing into the material as opposed to actually shaving the material. I like to make the analogy of shaving your face. If you push the razor in, it doesn't work out real well. If you shave parallel to your face, it works out much better. And that's the same thing that happens in turning, particularly with plastic. Take very small cuts, uh, that is to say not deep, and at the same time you're trying to keep your tool very sharp. Uh, later in this you'll see that I changed to an, a, a three-quarter inch smaller skew. Now, the reason for that is there's more control with the smaller tool and that tool is also sharper than the big uh, inch plus uh, skew. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Thank you for watching. One of the things that uh, we'd like to point out is that we do own Exotic Blanks, www.exoticblanks.com. You'll find the zebra resin is available there, along with several others that we call the cats and the wild cats. Uh, take a look at our website. I think you'll find there's a lot of interesting things to turn, and I'll continue to uh, make these videos as I hear problems that people are running into and hopefully make it easier for you to uh, to make good pens. Most of all, have fun and thanks a lot for watching. Bye, I'm Ed.